what are the BIM advantage in your point of view? Well, that's a, that would be a really long answer if I would be starting to say all. But um, in, ge in general, the, the most important uh, issues in, in BIM is really that, that uh, it's improving the productivity and quality in our industries. It's improving the communication, especially with the clients, because you, they have difficulties to understand the traditional drawings. And it's really excellent uh, tool for the collaboration. So those are, and if I just say shortly, the, the main advantages there. What advice would you give to a firm considering to make the switch to BIM? Well, the first uh, thing is that, that uh, BIM is not a goal. BIM is, BIM is a tool. And the companies who want to start using BIM, they should always be considering that, that what they want to achieve by BIM. And, and then when they have decided that, that what is really the, the goal of the use of BIM, then they can start thinking about what are the right tools, what are the changes that they have to do in the processes. BIM is definitely not either a software package. It's not something that you can buy from the shelf. It's something that you have to think about how it's improving your, your processes and you have to change your processes, sometimes even, even the business models. What do you feel is more challenging when making the switch to BIM? Well, I think the cultural change is the, the biggest thing. It's, it's very difficult in, in our industry uh, to implement new things. First of all, one of the things is that, that our industry is very fragmented and, and there are lots of connections with other companies. And because we are, our business is usually based on the uh, pro projects, uh, it's rather challenging for most companies to change their business processes without changing the business environment around them. And that is making it, it's very, it can be very difficult for the companies to really think about that, how can I build processes that, on the other hand, are enabling me to plug in with my, my partners and at the same time independent so that I can do it even though all, not all my partners are ready for that. And that's a quite difficult question. Your work is well known internationally, so can you tell us what are you working on now? Well, the, for the, the last three years I have been working in Salford University in uh, kind of, uh, preparing the uh, uh, master's program in BIM and Integrated Design, also working with the UK government's uh, BIM requirements in several working groups. Uh, those, have be, those have been the, really the, my main activities, but at the moment really I'm actually starting in the U University of Liverpool in September uh, in, in the School of Architecture, so now my mind is already kind of thinking really the changes in the, the actual architectural education in, in Liverpool. Okay, and in your opinion, what should be the role of the schools in the definition of a BIM national strategy? Well, it's uh, of course... Uh, sc uh, in my opinion, first of all, of course, researchers, uh, so universities should be really defining the next steps. We should really look at ahead of the industry. At the moment, a lot of innovation is happening in the industry and are in, in many cases, universities are actually behind the industry. So we should be more active in, in really thinking about what, what will happen next. And then, of course, we have also a very, very important part of in, in um, education educating the people for the future and that is also quite challenging because uh, many of the, the educational programs that we have in our industry they are accredited or uh, even even sometimes regulated like for example in the European Union architects uh, title is kind of defined to, to a certain type of education and changing the education is quite challenging because it can even endanger the, the uh, possibility to have the accreditation. So schools should be also very active in, in defining what is the education for the future. So it's many, many roles that we have.